love and devotion. She stick to the mother. She was no longer her mother in law. No? I want us to remember that she was no longer her mother in law. Naomi was no longer her mother in law. She was not a Hebrew. She in a fear land of a Moab. But there she come from. She was a Moabitess. But she said, entreat me not to leave you. You're going through it? Sister, I'll come hold my hand. Entreat me not to leave you. Not to stop following you. Hallelujah. Because your God is my God. And when you face the mountain, I'm going to pray for you. When you're going through the water, I'm going to pray with you. Hallelujah. When you're going through the fire, no ear going to hurt you because I'm covering you in the spirit, my sister. I'm covering you in the spirit. I'm covering you in the spirit. I'm rising up with vision and with clarity. Hallelujah. And I'm covering you in the spirit. Even right now, I'm covering you in the spirit. Hallelujah. 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 Bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And so she couldn't just become the great grandmother. She couldn't just fall in the line of Jesus like that. She had to rise up for something. And so young people, one of the things that I learned reading Ruth over and over, she sticked with Naomi. When the time came for her to court Boaz, she had a mentor. It's not a wrong move can't make because the mentor is solid. She guided her. She was a guide right into till the time for her to get married. She rise up and guess what happened? Naomi must have been inspired by Ruth. Because Naomi changed, she said, don't call me Naomi, call me Mara. And she going on in the self-pity. And she keeping a party and she inviting the whole of Israel on her return. But Ruth assumed that posture of love and devotion. Wherever you go, I'm going to go there. Whatever you do, I'm going to do it too. So when it was time for Boaz, anybody ever look and say, oh, that's seamless, so. That's seamless, so. 